Hi you guys, um, it's Isabel. Um, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be wishing all my subscribers a happy birthday for January. Happy birthday. And also, I did have a request using the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Doing a, oh, excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> doing a tutorial on this look that I have on now. <laughs> But um, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit different. I'm going to be doing more like a get ready with me kind of sort of thing. Um, more of the stuff that you guys don't see me do during a tutorial. Um, I don't normally like to do it this way because it does take me longer. But um, but I thought, you know, what the heck is hecky Becky. <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and let me know what you guys think down below okay uh, follow me on instagram and facebook i do have facebook i always put stuff on my facebook page um instagram twitter and uh thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in here we go let's start it isabel already for the love of god woman mm. <laughs> bright orange mandarin color that's mixed in there um but uh the most popular color there is is like the red one so um or like a pomegranate color really it's not really like a true red but kind of like a pomegranate color so yeah and then also did you know that it goes back all the way back to uh 3100 bc they are it is such a hard um a hard um stone that people that even today like people are finding like jewelry from way back then that's intact um because they uh jewelry back then was like made up of the red stone because it was um adorned for the warriors because it's it was supposed to like be like a uh to ward off um, bad stuff and also uh, they would put it on the wounded the, the stones so that because they thought that it promoted healing so isn't that interesting and also it like that's why they had it in stone um, in the Roman times they had it on on the on the kings and the queens to ward off bad stuff off of them so that's interesting it's also a symbol it symbolizes peace and uh, happiness and also good health so that's awesome and so you you know some people say if you wear it you have that throughout your life you know if you wear the the colored garnet um so that's a that those are a little bit of tidbits here and there to to get you guys uh going to for your noodle to think about um so anyways 
I am going to be doing this look for you today. I did do it with this uh, really pretty red um, lipstick. So I had actually a request from one of my subscribers to do a um, tutorial using the, the Lorette Pro palette. Um, so I'm going to be doing that today, the Lorette Mega Pro palette that is. So I'm going to be doing that today um, in uh, conjunction with these lips and I'm going to be doing it a little bit different because usually I do my makeup um, and then I come back and then I go back and then like that but I'm going to be showing you most of the stuff that I do and I have to tell you I'm so sorry about the lighting so um but anyways I'm going to get to this so you guys can get watching the tutorial okay you guys normally I have no makeup on I already um put on my moisturizer and my eye cream um, but normally I do this part before I go into my makeup room to do the eye tutorial. So this is the part that you guys don't normally see from me, but I thought I would come on and do that. As you can see, I do have a bit of rosacea going on right now, which is, there's really nothing I can do about that. But um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and put on my primer. This is my go-to primer, which is the Garnier 5 Second Blur. Um, I usually get this at the grocery store. You can get it at uh, Target, um, and I love it. It's real, real, it's really nice for the, uh, for the pores. And uh, it really does hide all your pores, and it's really, it's super. Sometimes I, I use it by itself if I don't want to wear makeup that day. Um, it's really nice. It kind of, it's kind of like a BB cream without the tint, if that, you know, if that makes sense. So, um, okay. So that's that. I'm going to look over here because i got my mirror right here, my big my big mirror um, to do this and then I press it in and then the next thing I do is I go ahead and put on some I spray on some of this um, because this stuff is like the bomb just put a little bit on not like you know whatever <laughs> Um, okay, so then the next thing I do is I go ahead and do my under eyes. What I do is I put on this um, this concealer from MAC. And um, I'll write everything that I used down below. Um, so this is more my color because I'm more of, I don't know. The lighting here is really bad. That's why I do my makeup stories in my um, makeup room. So... Um, that's the reason why I get ready in here first with, with my makeup, with my foundation. And then I go into the uh, my makeup room after. So then I just press it in with this Kabuki brush from, um, from Sigma. Okay. just like that all right so the next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my foundation I've been really 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 digging this uh, born this way foundation it's it's nice I really like it as I get older I find that I'm looking towards more of a natural finish rather than a uh, matte finish um, I think that it's kind of, you know, with my, my hormones and everything changing as, uh, as we women do get older, it happens to the, it happens to all of us. Um, I think that it's a, a really nice foundation for, for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and stipple it on. First, I do kind of a, a messy stipple or a swipe, whatever. 
and then I don't I don't go down my neck quite yet and I put on my nose because I kind of lay it down first and then I just uh you know start to blend it in after I get it all where I want it to be so then at this point what I do is then I start to really like blend it in So I start from the inside and then I do little things like this. And then afterwards, I go down my neck because whatever's left on the brush, I usually go, just go down my neck so there's not like a line. I don't really like to use two coats um, for me um, only because it is so hot in Arizona um, even in the winter time, I mean, right now it's going to be probably um, in the high 60s, and that's pretty warm, you know, with, with us still here. It's really nice, uh, so I really like the, the, uh, the weather. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and spray this um, again. I use this three times in my makeup um, when I put it on. So then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm using the Anastasia brow pencil. And this is the one that's slanted and I really like it for, uh, I like it for me. Um, this is in chocolate. I'm just going to go over here and do my brows real quick. I used to do the, uh, use the, um, the gel, but then I found that this one worked just as good, and, uh, I like the gel too, though, don't get me wrong, but right now I'm digging this one. Okay, so after I do that, then I go ahead and get my Anastasia powder. Um, this I usually just put on, I just get a fluffy brush like this. It's slanted, but it's pretty fluffy. Um, and then I just go over the brows so that it would stay put. And they stay put pretty nice throughout the day. I like this combination for me because it really does keep my brows, uh, even when, you know, when it's really hot. It, it they stay on there pretty nice okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that up a little bit I'm gonna clean up my brows I'm gonna go ahead and take this um no not this one let's do this one I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush right here and just clean up you know the rest of the underneath it some people put concealer on it I just kind of clean it up a little bit you know I find that the 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 less product I use the better for me so I try to not use so much um stuff but um I guess some people use less than I do so little thing right there okay so that's what I do before I go into uh, to film. But actually, I do one eye first, and then I go film um, the other eye. So I'm going to do this eye, and then I'll see you in my makeup room. Okay? Okay, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put some primer on my eyelid. This is the NARS um, eye, eyeshadow primer. I'm checking it out. Now, with the Sigma brush, I am getting the color Pink, Cream, and Crepe. And I'm going to put my brush in both of those colors. And I'm going to put it all over my brow bone just like that and go all the way down into the crease. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna get this Moon River brush and I'm going in with two colors. I'm going in with tan and pecan and just dip it in both. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right on the above the crease 
just like that. And put as much as you want on there, you know. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, brush from Sigma and going in with the color, um, I believe that is eggplant. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that round and round and round into the outer crease and then blend it into the crease. I'm sorry, the outer V. And then blend it into the crease. <laughs> okay, just like that. And put as much as you want on there to intensify the color. I'm going to go ahead and take just a little bit of that um, rose quartz color. And I'm just going to put it on top. And then I'm going to go back into that eggplant. Okay, just like that. Just to uh, build up the color a little bit. And then I'm going to go above the eyelid there just a little bit. So you can, so it could peek out a little bit more. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this other brush. And I'm going in with the color Snow. I'm just going to go ahead and pat that all over on the lids. Okay. Just like that. I'm going back in with Eggplant. With that other brush. And to uh, just in case I lost some color there. Then I'm gonna go in with this funky brush from Sigma and I like it because it's thin and pointy and I can get right into the crease. And then I'm gonna go back with that snow color. Okay, and then apply it one more time. Just like that. And then blend again. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the top waterline. I believe this is the MAC. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some of this nude color on the bottom of my eye in the um, waterline there. And I'm going in with this flat brush from Sigma and I'm going in with the color pink cream and then I'm just going to go ahead and place that on top of that bottom eyeliner that I just applied. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to go clean that brush off and uh, actually I'm using a different brush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going in with jet black. I'm just going to go ahead and tight line on that bottom, the bottom um, lash, just tight line right in the lashes there, just like that. All right, and come back with me to my room, to my bathroom. <laughs> okay, so at this point I'm in my bathroom and I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour. I hate the light in here and I'm so sorry, but I just thought that I would bring you guys along with me today and do this so you guys know what what I usually do. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Naked Skin from um, Urban Decay and I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, under eyes and then contour with it a little bit. So usually I do this and then I do this this here 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 and then I usually get the um, try to get the smaller places first usually at this time um, I usually get ready in here in my bathroom in here the whole you know if I'm going out or whatnot but when I do tutorials, um, this is how I do it. Only because the lighting is so bad, and and uh, I have everything here, my 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 brushes and everything, and it's much easier for me to grab something if you know when and I need it. 
so I have my um, my under eye done. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, powder under my eyes. I think I'm gonna use my um, Ben Nye banana powder today. And then I'm gonna get a sponge and just bake that a little bit. Okay, I don't put like a bunch of powder like some people do. You know how they just put like a bunch of powder on and then they just leave it there for a little while. I don't really put that much, like a bunch of bunch of powder on. So then I go back with my naked and then I do my contour of my cheeks. So usually I usually have like a natural crease right here on both sides of my, my cheeks. Um, so that's really, it makes it real easy for me to see where I need to put this. Okay, just like that. And then, um, I just, you know, I don't go above that natural crease that I have. I just kind of make it a little bit lighter under here. Okay, so then I go ahead and then I powder at this juncture. Um, get my powder brush. Sometimes I, I like to use different powder brushes, not this one. Um, one I'm using right now is this one here from Sigma. I have been really digging this particular powder from um, Rimmel. Um, it is the Stay Matte. It's broken, but I did hit pan on it. But I've been really, really liking it um, lately. So then I'm just going to go ahead and, like, kind of stab it. <laughs> Take some, a little bit of that powder off from the, um, from the bottom of my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Sigma to brush off the rest of that powder under my eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, finish my contouring. What I'm going to be using is, I have been using the Lorac Pro lately. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I get this fan brush from IT Cosmetics. And I usually just see these three colors right here. I usually don't even like pick a color. I usually just go like this. I know it's kind of odd, but it's what I do. And then just contour. Just put it on my the hollows of my cheeks. And go up a little bit. like that and then I do the other side so yeah I usually have that natural crease that's what I follow and then I contour and I usually go up because if I go down then it just looks all dark right here because it powder goes down so I go up and that way it blends with the um, the blush that I'm going to be using. Okay, and then I can, what I do is I get the lightest one, which is this one here, um, and then I put that on my brush and then do my nose. Okay, so that's that. And then, um, then I get the medium one and then I just like do this. Okay. And then up here, just a tiny bit. I don't put any more on, on my brush. I just, whatever's on here, I just go ahead and do it. My hairs, I need to go to the, to the um, hair salon to get my hair done. <laughs> um, so anyways, and then what I do is I normally get like, um, like the highlighter, which I, do, I usually do this one here. Um, okay, 
okay and then um and then i'm going to go ahead and put my blush on now because i'm doing a red look um i kind of want the because i'm going to put some bold lips on kind of want the blush to be a little bit um not so bold do you know what i mean because the eyes are already a little bit bold but then the focus is probably going to be on the lips so i kind of want this to be a little bit more um I don't know, just not as bammy. Okay, so let me find, I have all my blushes down here. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, now this is gonna scare you, but I'm gonna do it really, really light. Um, so I'm using one of these colors. I know it's hard to tell in here with the lighting again, but I think I'm gonna be using maybe this one here which is from Sleek Cosmetics. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush from Sigma again. This is the um, F15 and it is a dual fiber powder blush, brush, brush, brush. <laughs> so I have a little towel down here, which I keep, I have a lot of towels in here um, for my makeup. So I'm just brushing that off whatever's on there and I'm gonna go ahead and take this color here and what I'm gonna do is just bounce it and then bounce it on the cloth that I have that way there's not a lot on here but just enough you know so I'm gonna go over here okay just like that you can see okay then I'm gonna do it again for the other side. Like a feather duster, really, really soft. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do next is put on my highlighter. Um, usually highlighters just varies. Like, um, because I'm going to do a red look today, I think I'm just going to go with something light. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, City Color Collection Highlighter. My friend Mel gave this to me as, uh, as a gift, and I have been loving it lately. I'm using this Anastasia brush here, and I'm just going to blink it. <laughs> Boink it. And then, um, again, I'm just going to use, like, little circle motions right on, like, the edge. Like, the edge. Like, say that's the edge. And just kind of go in between the, t as the edge and the, mm, the place that does not have any um, blush. Okay. Um, so then after you do that, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyelashes. Um, usually I just curl them and then I put mascara on. Today's mascara, I think I'm going to be using the, um, oh, let's use this one. This is the Lash Sensational Mascara. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara on, and then I'll meet you guys back in the makeup room. Okay, you guys, I am back. Um, to finish up the look, I did use this really bright um, red lipstick um, to symbolize the garnet, even though it's not, it's kind of like on the red side more than the pomegranate side but that's okay because you know i got this going on here so um i use this this um lipstick it is a uh, siren in scarlet Ooh, let me see um siren in scarlet and this is a really it's supposed to be a matte but um it looks kind of like a nice sheen to it a little creamy a little creamy creamy on the side um, so, yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. It was requested from one of my um, one of my viewers. So thank you very much for, for asking for me to do this look. I was happy to. And I want to thank 
each and every one of you for stopping by. And I want to thank you. I already said that, didn't I? I said thank you already, didn't I? But thank you again anyways. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I love you guys so much. Anyways, have a beautiful, colorful day. And I hope you guys enjoy your birthdays for the month, the month of January. <laughs> have a beautiful, colorful day. And um, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> subscribe.